WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. It's Monday. It's 1 o'clock, three hours left to go in the trading day. And taking a look at the markets, quite a positive start to the trading week. You have the Dow up 299 points, trading 24,755. S&P is currently positive by 19, trading 2782. And the NASDAQ positive by 37, trading 7726. We have some volatility in oil. We have some volatility in gold, volatility in currency especially that British pound with what they have going on over there. Let's start things off with the Dow 30. So quite a rise throughout most of the overnight session. I have the close of yesterday right on the left side of the chart. And as you can see, overnight we trade higher, come into the opening bell higher. And from there, things have just traded to the top side. Dow currently trading 24,744. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story. Traded higher overnight, but still relatively pretty much right where we were at the opening bell, even just under that level, trading uh, 72.62 in the NASDAQ 100. S&P 500, more like the Dow as in traded higher overnight, traded higher after the opening bell as well, currently trading 27.82 in the S&Ps. Gold contract, quite a night yesterday. This is again the close yesterday on the left side. We trade higher from about 1356 as of close yesterday, all the way up to 12, uh, excuse me, 1256 yesterday, up to 1266, but we're approaching that level under 1260, gold trading 1259.85. Crude oil bouncing around a bit today in both directions, currently trading right in the middle of that range at 73.62. And Bitcoin just kind of hanging up. This is the close, this is, excuse me, the open Sunday night. And as you can see, we traded a little bit positive. You're only talking about 120 to 150 Bitcoin dollars, which is pretty remarkable in terms of the low volatility. And then we've just kind of been hanging at that level, 67.20 currently in Bitcoin. So what else you have going on out there? Well, one of the bigger stories is, of course, what's going on over in Britain with Brexit, as you have Boris Johnson stepping down right on the heels of David Davis, who was the minister in charge of handling Brexit negotiations. So that putting some turmoil into those negotiations to see what will happen. And then how about the story on Twitter as they purge 70 million seven zero accounts, but investors not seeming to like that. If we jump over to Twitter stock real quick as we wrap this up, TWTR, come on, cooperate for me. There we go. One more time. TWTR and Twitter down 8.6% today. Pretty remarkable. Stay tuned. Steve Rhodes coming up right now at the Trader's Edge. Have a great Monday, everybody.